happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, in out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Herbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us, we have the C-Crane CC Skywave SSB, and I'll perform a daytime medium wave band scan. We'll go over features of the radio, we'll do a size comparison, then we'll cruise the daytime band. So let's check it out. The C-Crane CC Skywave SSB. Uh, I've done a medium wave band scan during the day before, but uh, it's been a while, maybe a year or two, so I figured I'd do it again. So let's check out the radio. Left hand side we have a carry strap. We have FM stereo on headphones, which is a good experience by the way. We have a mini USB in for charging the radio and running it off an AC adapter. On the front we have a small, tinny sounding speaker. It's not the best, but it does work for talk, sports. Skywave SSB, here's our display. We have battery life indicator and our clock showing in a 12 hour format. You can change that to a 24 hour format, which is nice. Buttons, there's a lot of them. <laughs> Let's go down the side here. We have a power and sleep function. Our band select for AM and FM and alert mode is on its own little button. We have up and down too many buttons here. On the left hand side, we have a dedicated band for the weather, shortwave and air band. Down here we have single side band, so once you want to chase some hams down, you press that to access the lower and upper side bands. If you look, there's always secondary functions. You can change your clock from 12 to 24 hour, like I mentioned. Down here, here's your upper and lower side band dedicated button with a time set feature. Here we have fine tuning for the upper side band or lower side band, and also the alarm feature to change the alarm. You'll see the direct uh, numeric entry keypad. Love it. Down here we have a charge bandwidth function. Bandwidth is really nice. You can change it, of course, for your short wave, uh, medium wave, and on single side band. You'll have different filters for each. And of course, if you press and hold this with the power off and USB connected, you will start charging internal nickel metal hydride batteries. Make sure you have those installed. Uh, on zero there, you can see you can change the AM stepping from 9K to 10 kilohertz. Nice to know. Over here we have uh, meter band. When you're in short wave, and especially in single side band, you can press this to go to all the popular ham bands, which is nice. Frequency button for direct entry of the frequency. Page feature, there's a lot of memory in here, so you have like, I think it's like 10 pages of 10. There's You just keep going, page, and then page, and then all these are separate uh, presets there, which is really nice. Auto tuning system, we have a light. See that there, press the light button. Okay, my light button's not working. There we go, turn power on. But it has a light button, you can turn it on if it's not on. Down here with the key locks feature. Press and hold, locks the radio down. Nice to have that. Okay, right hand side, we have the tuning knob, which is really nice, indented. Uh, it also has a uh, push in for squelch uh, for the air band, which is really nice. I think on the back it says that. Push knob, okay, for fast, slow tuning and air squelch. So you can change your tuning from fast to slow real easily by just clicking the tuning knob in. Really nice. Here we have an analog volume control. I like having that. Top of the radio are an FM and shortwave antenna and air band. On the back, and NOAA band. There's so many bands. <laughs> uh, you can see our frequency coverage. Nice, FM, AM, weather, air, shortwave. We'll kick out stand there. All right, there we have some little instructions. I set those. What band was to use? Nice. Behind here is our batteries. Um, it's kind of a tight fit door here. If I get that open. Yeah, always on camera. This is great. You can get it. Uh, we have two AA batteries. A life expectancy about 75 hours on these rechargeables. I'm using EBL 2800s. These are really nice high capacity batteries. Positive connections going to the left hand side. That way. So if you wanted to know, so I can put this back together on the camera. Yeah, it's always a snug fit here. Usually you're not opening it up too often. There we go. I got a reset hole on the bottom. Okay, let's do a quick size comparison. Start cruising the band. I'm gonna bring this up. I'm bringing up a little different radio. Now, a lot of people go, is Skywave SSB better than this radio or that radio? Well, I'll tell you what, it's all about size. 
<laughs> There's a very popular radio, the Eaton Elite Executive, um, known as the Satellite also. Uh, this is just the newest uh, rendition. As you can see, quite a difference in size. Um, yes, they're going to have a better speaker, of course, but what's more portable? This is. It throws us in the pocket much easier than you are this one. That is for sure. If you're at home and you're table topping, the Eaton might be the way to go. But if you're on the go and you want everything at your fingertips, this is the one to pick for sure. Okay, next we have CC Skywave. I mean, CC Pocket. CC Skywave. This is, yeah, bring that in. You can see these are pretty identical. Uh, buttons are different. If you notice, the Skywave buttons on the SSB are raised, which is nice. They're real comfortable to use. Uh, easy to access. I do like that. And of course, this has a different kind of speaker setup. Okay, and then of course, yeah, bring the CC Pocket in. Call it the Skywave. Yeah. <laughs> Having fun. There's so many Sea Cream products here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do last but not least. Oh, your man. He's the man with the master plan. He loves Skywave's SSBs from Sea Crane Land. <laughs> he's Iron Man. Okay, so let's get this back on down up close and personal. Turn this on and cruise the bands. Let's go. Okay, 5.30. Not going to be anything. It's got a 10 segment uh, signal strength indicator, which is really nice. It goes 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I'll have the numeral 5, and then the rest are bars up to 10. It's kind of nice to have. This is WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin, ESPN. I can bring a loop in, see if it can make it better. It's the Turk Advantage. There we go. You can see the single strength jumped up. Keep that on the side there. Okay, let's keep going. Here's 560 WIND, Chicago, Illinois. Here's our bandwidth. Doctor who is responsible for it is Dr. Zelenko, who has been using it. And the claim of the peer review, and again, peer reviewed study is that one taken early. I'm going to leave it on three. Uh, three kilohertz. Uh, we're going to Dr. show you what else we got. Oh, yeah, you can tune by these buttons. Uh, I believe he said and of course, you have tone control. Press and hold. We got music. And voice. I, I practice what I preach. I take it uh, every week. We oh, yeah, current time. <laughs> I'm sure you saw it. Uh, current time is 11:08 a.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. The sun's been up about four and a half to five hours. Sun sets about six hours from now, so it's sort of midday, pretty close. There you go. All right. 580 WILL in Urbana, Illinois, one of my farthest stations, about 150 miles away. Families and, and sort of live out their lives and make decisions for them, and, and sort of uh, there's a certain randomness in it. But I, I guess, were there any surprise findings uh, as, as in your models? Yeah, so one of the things that we did was to model, or to try and understand this cryptic phase of the epidemic. So the time when no one was really, people were concerned about it, but no one, no states really have the testing capacity. So they had some gain, nice. Distance stations, yeah, you might want to lower it to 2 kilohertz. Uh, this is 590 WKZO, Kalamazoo, Michigan. Um, I'm going to have to really go quickly through the band here, but I keep wanting to bring the loop in to see the difference.
This next station 600 WMTE Cedar Rapids, Iowa, 175 miles away. Midnight and uh, good folks at ABC will help carry the night as well. And as deep into the night or early into the morning as we have right, to go, yes. you know what I'm rooting for? 620 uh, WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He's listening back in his cubicle. I am rooting for the Mercure election night show. Music there on 640 is WMFN, Pieto in Illinois. that I'm asking now. And, and then, you know, if your answer is the same, then fine. You're going to lose your job over that. Here's 670 WSCR, the score, Chicago, Illinois. Put Alex Bars on the field. Move Rashad Coward back to right tackle. Um, you know, you've got no choice but to go with Mustafer. I don't know at this point. I One guess you asked Jermaine Effetti to make the line calls. I don't know if he can do that. But now he's the only veteran you've got in there. Or get out on the street and pick somebody up. You, you know, uh, Everybody was Quentin Spain crazy. Quentin Spain is, is, is not an answer to anything. He's a me- There you go. Pretty cool. Back of sports on the, on the regional sports channel. I think that's uh, what I got, yeah. Uh, they also added uh, 625 uh, feet for the marquee. Mandatory, mandatory. Uh, 720 WGN Chicago. You're getting the home of the Cubs for an extra 620 a month. They snuck that in. I, you know, we were all wondering what that was going to be. I didn't even notice. Yeah. Uh, it says. It says. El Sagrado Corazón de Jesús se le apareció por primera vez. Ella tuvo. So there we are. WNDZ Portage, Indiana, on 750. Let's try something. So if I go to slow here, I'm trying to remember this. Yeah. I don't do this too often. I usually just use a tuning knob, but uh, I believe you can go fast tuning here and then slow here. That's a pretty cool setup. I don't know if I said it. I probably did. 750 WNDZ Portage, Indiana, a Hispanic uh, Catholic station, I believe. They do different things in the station. Seven eighty to be BBM Chicago. Speaker's not bad if you keep it in voice. Keep your bandwidth low. It's time for the AccuWeather five day forecast sponsored by MC Squared. MC Squared Energy, and here is Bob Larson. So much snow in the area over the next hour or so, mixed with a bit of rain in some cases. Then cloud cover will break for a little bit of sun later today. For daytime, I'm going to go back to fast. <laughs> there we are. Well, how do you communicate with your politician? I thought about letting them know how I feel about things. WCPT, Willow Springs, Illinois, about 40 miles away. It's hard to hear through the map. I said I sent a letter to my congressman about how I hate wearing these masks, but I never heard back. I called my senator to tell her that I think everyone should wear masks. And There's a station out of Milwaukee, 52 miles away. It's 250 watts, uh, WNOV. It's pretty cool that the uh, radios pick it up. And I gotta always bring the loop in and make that uh, signal come in better. Mm-hmm. 
There we go. I don't know if I can hover on that music or not, but there you go. So as you can see the result uh, on that meter there. Uh, it's pretty reactive and seems pretty uh, accurate. So let's keep going. Here's 890 WLS, Chicago, Illinois. Uh, about the time the confirmation vote was taking place. The high pitch you whine you hear is from the camera. The real, at real R Limbaugh, you will be able to see. That you'll have to hear to believe it's starring Keegan Michael Key. The Big Badger, WOKY, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Nine thirty WBKM Sandwich Illinois. It's not to pray for your headache and your heartaches, in my opinion. That's been my So I've taken this radio apart and they use like a foam uh, placement uh, under the buttons to make them feel premium, nice soft touch. But that foam can break down, as you can see here, there's a little white speck. That's under the screen. You could take the radio apart and blow that out. <laughs> Sometimes it bugs me, I just leave it. Um, so if your radio you start noticing more of those little specks. It's from the foam. Just uh, go ahead and uh, blow it out. Maybe in the future revisions, they probably use like a closed cell foam that isn't so likely to produce little artifacts. <laughs> so, yeah, WBKM, Sandwich, Illinois, Relevant Radio, Catholic Station. Okay, music on 940, WFAW, Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. Nine fifty WNTD Chicago. My own headache, and I'm big. My neighbors, while I was walking through their backyards and their garages. <laughs> WHA Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> if you can get away with that, that'd be a great ad. It's a great idea. Dr. Bill Stork, our guest today. Great to have him with us to talk. About to get another one we want to engage here's 1000 wmvp chicago illinois espn sports fabric of these communities that's what sets us apart blue cross and blue shield of illinois a division gonna go a little quicker here wnvr vernon hills illinois WLIP, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Democrat, I don't know who it was. That's oh, a... that was, uh, that was... A little bit of music here on WHFB, Benton Harbor, Michigan, about 100 miles away. 1060, you can just make it out. Ten seventy WTSO Madison Wisconsin. Yeah, just so you know, the Skyways in general are pretty good medium wave receivers for their size. Uh, I like to use my my regular Skywave as you guys know all the time in my videos. Um, this is identical in reception. Love it. Ten eighty WNWI Oklahoma Illinois. Music there, WMBI, Chicago, Illinois, 1110. Appointment to the Supreme Court. They will not tell you their plans to pack the court, but that's what the, that's how they're going to do WISN, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. They can't believe, they can't believe that this court's now 6-3 conservative. They can't believe that Justice Roberts. I played it for my kids last night. I thought it was too long. The kids loved it, and they were able to repeat back all of the information that they were given, because I think it's important. There's so many times. Here's 1160 WYLL, Chicago, Illinois, Hope for Your Life, Christian Radio. But we all know 
that's not the case. And look, can I say this is the most detailed view? This is not the... Let's see if the squirrel shows up. Yay, we got the squirrel. WSQR, Sycamore, Illinois. Yep, that's their motto, the squirrel. <laughs> Continuamos en la número 7, la NBA está en planes 1200 WRTO Chicago 1230 WCLO, Janesville, Wisconsin. Twelve forty to be SBC, Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, and those fan fainter stations, that uh, bandwidth down to two is nice. Uh, WEKZ, Monroe, Wisconsin, 60 miles away. I don't have time to bring the loop in, but you guys will know it will, it'll work, which is great. Uh, yeah, I think so. Let me look to see if we've got any left. One second. 1280 WBIG, Aurora, Illinois. Yeah, so let's see what I got. I do enjoy do, uh, tuning a digital radio. <laughs> it's like I know where I'm at. <laughs> There's no like going back and forth. Um, yeah, so that, that. Just picking up music on WZTI. That's Greenfield, Wisconsin. WRDZ, LaGrange, Illinois. WIBA, Madison, Wisconsin. Thirteen thirty WNTA, Rockford, Illinois. BTU, they got a butt window air conditioner. I don't think you'd want a butt window air conditioner. <laughs> they put the U in the T, they inverted it there. BU, BTU window air conditioner. Uh, bought this last July, paid 329 <laughs> We got a comedian there. <laughs> He's funnier than me. Wait a minute. <laughs> WLBK, Decal, Illinois. Selling stuff, I guess. <laughs> I love these stations that do that. Starter, now we all. And could use a carburetor rebuild kit. Uh, we'll have to pick it up. By truck or small. There you go. We got some rock and music there. Love that. It's coming in good. 1380 WBEL, South Beloit, Illinois. The station disappeared for a while and it's back. It's sounding good. If you want to change it up to some gospel music, you go to 1390 uh, WGRB, Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> so if you're here visiting. Uh, WRJN, Racine, Wisconsin, on 1400, usually music playing. From their appetizers, burgers, soups and salads, sandwiches, pasta, dinner entree. Okay, it's making me hungry. 1410 WRMN, Elgin, Illinois. It's a good choice. No. It's Funkers in the band. This is just a good time. Yeah, with a good radio. Loving that. It's always, always a nice thing. Again, portability is the key on this one. Hub.com. 
for more information. Because everybody, everybody always asks, what's better? You know, should I get the Eaton? Should I get the Sanjin 909X? Should I get the Skywave? Which one's the best? Uh, it's pretty much what you uh, are going to carry or where you're, where you're going to use it. And I'll be honest with you, if you're on the go, this is the one. Uh, if you're going to be home more, this is the one. <laughs> um, if you're going to be home all the time, the 909X is pretty good too with external antennas. So just just what you want to do every day. This is 1430 WEEF, Deerfield, Illinois. EEF, like Deerfield, sweet. WROK, Rockford, Illinois. Guy is always complaining. <laughs> Just picking this up, 1450 WCEV, Cicero, Illinois. And of course, those new to radio, you see me spinning this radio around. The ferrite antenna is here, and you always want to point that horizontal edge of the ferrite antenna to where the station is broadcasting from. So like if the station is northwest, you point it this direction, or if it's southeast, uh, that's why I'm doing this. So my direction like this is west, and this is east, and that's how I'd pick up east and west stations in this position. And of course, if I go like this, I'm picking up uh, my southwest and northeast. So that's how I get, uh, in the evenings, I get the New York stations. So just so you know why I'm spinning it around. So people don't, and they ask. So uh, I'm glad to tell you. Or they'll ask why this antenna isn't raised. Uh, that is exclusively for FM, shortwave, airband, uh, NOAA weather broadcasts, the higher spectrum. Medium wave is different. It's a lower spectrum, longer wavelengths, and the ferrite internal antenna takes over. At school with Totterbert. <laughs> Radio school by Totterbert. <laughs> Just... That bandwidth really helps. Uh, WJTI, West Ellis, Wisconsin. Just barely picking that up. Here's 1490, Iron Country, Country Music, WGEZ, Beloit, Wisconsin. Normally here, WPJX is like heavy metal, believe it or not, on AM. <laughs> uh, Zion, Illinois. WRDD, Waukesha, Wisconsin. Barely picking that up. Music at 1520, WLUV, Loves Park, Illinois. WCKG, Owners, Illinois. There is uh, WGLB, Port Washington, Wisconsin. Country music, 1570. I'll put the pop up here. I don't know why I don't have that written down. Uh, I'm going trying to go pretty quick here. WN, WTTN, Watertown, Wisconsin. Fifteen ninety WCGO, Evanston, Illinois. 
So there you go, the Lake County Traffic Advisory Radio, 1620. Let's keep going. WSJP, Sussex, Wisconsin, 1640. Catholic Radio. The Zone, WOZN, Madison, Wisconsin. And here we go, WBON, uh, Chicago. So there we're done. We'll go ahead and just turn this off. There it is, the daytime band scan with the C crane, CC Skywave SSB. Yeah, you don't see me take this one off too much. Take this out too much because I'm always like trying to keep it nice. Um, I kick around radios mainly my regular Skywave. I take this everywhere. But uh, this one here, on special occasions, uh, I like to take it out because it is a really totally expensive radio. I mean, this is what, uh, $89 and this is 170 Yeah, you can see why uh, I don't take it out for my normal band scans on my videos. So I'll just use a regular scat wave since they both work really well on medium wave. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big like. You guys are the best. If you like C-Cream products, you like reviews, band scans, hit subscribe at the bell icon. Get notified of future videos featuring this bad boy or others. And then, of course, three comment below what you think about the CC Skywave SSB. Is it a favorite of yours? Are you more of an Eaton fan? Uh, do you like the Sanjin radios? Let me know. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video. Thank you.